okay these are the two questions that i'll be answering so the first one is this question uh this is a question about the homologous series okay so there are two ways to look at this question okay because what you want to find out is the difference be between the molecular formula between one member and the next member so that means it's between the one carbon and two carbon or the two carbon and the three carbon and then the three carbon and the four carbon so yeah you want to find the difference between each of these so then the one carbon is ch4 the two carbon is c2h6 so you can just take c2h6 subtract off ch4 you will find that you have one carbon left and two hydrogen left which gives you ch2 so you can do this again with the c2 and the c3 so c3 is c3h8 and c2h6 then again it gives you c and then h2 so your answer is this that's one then another another way you can look at it is this the definition of homologous series and this last line down here it says that each member of the series differ from the next by a ch2 group then which means its answer is pointing to b as well So the answer is you just need to refer to the definition of the homologous series or just do some math. Then we have second your second question, which is about isotopes and the relationship of isotopes and relative atomic mass. So what happens is like this this is an illustration you have chlorine and chlorine exists in two isotopes cl35 and cl37 so then because natural chlorine right exists as two isotopes chlorine 35 37 in different percentages you can see so the relative atomic mass right is actually you averaging out the total mass of the two chlorines. So how you get the average mass here of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 is to take the mass of chlorine 35 times the percentage that is present in which is now 75% plus 30, 37 times 25%. So you get 35.5 which is what the relative atomic mass of our uh, chlorine is in the periodic table so and this half here right this 0.5 does not mean that there is a half a proton or a neutron it simply just means that there is a presence of isotope okay so this is what you are which is this question the part two over here then they tell you that relative atomic mass is 35.5 as shown in the periodic table then what does it tell you about the amounts amounts of the two different isotopes so because of this knowledge down here that i mean i revise with you or if you don't know i tell you so that this is how you calculate relative atomic mass which is basically based on average of the percentages and the mass so because it's an average right the when there is a higher percentage of a certain number in this case 35 the final answer to the average will be closer to the 35 because there's more 35 huh? so then i can say that because relative atomic mass is the average mass of chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 so 35.5 indicates that there is 
a higher percentage of chlorine I 85 isotope compared to chlorine 27. Yeah, I think that's all.